Jackson police are calling on the community to do the right thing and help JPD solve the city's latest homicide. A man was found dead inside a home in South Jackson. 12 News' Jalen Anderson has more on the ongoing investigation. JPD is now working quickly to solve a homicide that left a 45-year-old man dead. His body was found inside a home at 104 Greenway Court. Chief Wade of the Jackson Police Department feels that although JPD has progress under his watch, they still have a ways to go as the shooting makes it the 90th homicide of the year. We have some bad people in our city. We have some young men that continuously resort to gun violence to resolve issues and problems. We still have individuals who know individuals that commit crimes against those individuals who take their lives. These are people that they know. It makes me feel that we have a lot of work to do to change the mindset of our community, to change the culture of our community. One longtime resident of South Jackson values the work of JPD, but believes that law enforcement can only do so much. And I commend the chief for that. I commend them for that, because what you have to realize is that the police can't be everywhere at all times. And then it's going to take the citizens speaking up. When you see something, you need to say something. And then that way, a lot of the cases will be solved much quicker and faster. So, you know, we can't blame uh, our, our law enforcement because a lot of the killing that has taken place, they know each other. Wade is saddened to see another life lost in the city due to gun violence and hopes citizens can resort away from gun violence. We have got to resolve issues, problems, and conflict better. We cannot continue to resort to gunfire gun violence here in our community. It is creating a cloud over this great city. It's creating a cloud of the people who live here in the city of Jackson, the people who work here in the city of Jackson, who go to church and go to school. It's a cloud. If you have any information on the case, call JPD or Crime Stoppers. Reporting in Jackson, Jalen Anderson, 12 News.